welcome. Thank you so much. The next two speakers, Amrev Health Africa, Dr. Givinji Gitai, Karibu Sana. And I also invite on stage KCV Group CEO, Anna Paul Russo, come over on stage. Karibu Sana. Um, Excellency um, President William Ruto and all the dignitaries here, we are the flying doctors. So I'll try and shorten my speech because I know that you are pressed for time. I'll try and keep it very, very brief. And uh, the first thing I want to say is that today I made great effort to dress like yourself because I've been watching you very closely. But my tailor did not do a good job as yours. So I think my suggestion is maybe next time you're seeing your tailor, you call me, we go together. My number is 0737. I'll read it for you. I just want to highlight a few things, Your Excellency. The first thing I want to say is that I want to thank your government for hosting AMREF for 66 years. AMREF is an international NGO which was founded in Kenya but has spread to 35 countries in Africa, spending about $250 million every year on healthcare. In Kenya, we spend about $60 million on healthcare, and your partnership and your patronage in your presidency is greatly appreciated. We, of course, started off as flying doctors, and that flying doctors was necessitated by absence of specialists out in the counties, by poor infrastructure. But now, our flying doctor service is no longer transporting doctors to the counties because your government's uh, efforts and the county government's efforts have made sure that specialists are now available across the country in the remotest places, working very, uh, you know, closely with the Ministry of Health, and the road infrastructure is good. We no longer have to transport a doctor by air. We can actually drive them to where they need to be. Now, we are using the Amra Flying Doctors, Your Excellency, in doing referral, emergency medical referral for the police, for individuals from poor communities, transporting them for higher care where they are needed. But secondly, and most importantly, we are also, as Amra Flying Doctors, transporting patients into Kenyan hospitals, enabling medical tourism into this country. Every year we bring close to 500 patients into Kenyan hospitals. The next thing I want to talk about is that we have, over the longest time, worked with all 47 counties. Our focus has been to build primary health care, and now with your agenda of primary health care networks, working with the Ministry of Health, we are enabling about 22 counties to achieve their primary health care network. We are working with the Ministry of Health to enable registration of over 100,000 community health promoters, and we continue to support your agenda to achieve this. In doing so, we are establishing Kenya's largest primary health care university. AMREF is spending $50 million, Your Excellency, between this year and next year, to build the largest primary health care hospital, training nurses, uh, university nurses, community health extension workers, midwives, physiotherapists, and we'll be coming to you at the launch, and we'll be coming to you also for the charter. Right now, we have over 3,000 students in our, uh, in our uh, university uh, environment. Finally, we know that our countries are operating at little fiscal space. The ambassador made it very clear the debt crisis is squeezing the fiscal space further. Efficiency and prioritization is critical. So we continue to work with your government, with the counties, to ensure that facilities are able to be capacitated to run their own facility improvement funds, because that's the best place where prioritization happens. If in this country we have 50,000 schools, Excellency, and each of them runs an account with a board of management, we have all many of us been members of board of management, but we are not able to allow the same in the health facilities. It is possible that all health facilities can have accounts, can run facility improvement funds, and they're able to prioritize the needs of their catchment day by day without being encumbered uh, by huge challenges in terms of accessing funds for day to day. Your Excellency, thank you very much. I would like to conclude there. Thank the county government, the chair of the county, uh, COG, for supporting the continuous work we are doing, the host governor, and our development partners who enable all the work we do with your government. I thank you most sincerely. God bless Kenya. God bless you. And I look forward to that call to visit your tailor. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Arigitai, on behalf of Amres Health Africa. On Paul Russo, on behalf of KCB. Karibu sana. 
Uh, Your Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and uh, as guided by my friend Governor Sang, I'll use all protocols of ZAB to try and save a few minutes, Your Excellency. Uh, what do I say about KCB that has been there for 126 years? Benki must be one of those that ring um, when we talk about KCB. Uh, Your Excellency, you've been one of the strongest partners for KCB, and I truly thank you. But I can also confirm that the governors in this room uh, will know the support and how KCB has come through to them. A number of areas that I just want to mention, and when I speak about KCB in Kenya, I speak about National Bank as well. You know, there's been a quick support when national government has not disbursed. So sometimes, Your Excellency, we can act as the fuliza for a number of entities and support in that front. But most importantly, the work we've done with governors around MSMEs, the work we've done around the agenda of the meeting. And Your Excellency, I think it's very important for me to point out that KCB at the forefront through to Jiajiri program to deliver youth empowerment. And I'm glad that this Friday, Your Excellency, you've agreed to come in to officiate the graduation of 5,000 of our people. We will continue to work with the various ministries and work with county government to deliver transformational partnership. I thank Your Excellency and thank you to the government owning 30% of KCB. We are not short of capital to support business. I think our single obligate limit is 23 billion. You can imagine what you can do with that allocation. Finally, Your Excellency, uh, in September, we are leading to bring um, venture capitalists from the U.S. Uh, to Kenya to point on to opportunities for investments. One single thing I'll ask governors to support, particularly those who come from the area I come from, is to try and fast track opportunities for title deeds, Your Excellency, so that those with allotment letters and running businesses can get better funding. I submit Your Excellency, and I know I have opportunity to speak tomorrow. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much.